feeling pretty good. I'm feeling really good actually. I feel like there's been a steady increase over the last four weeks and I, I am, you know, confident I can hit my goals now. To be honest, the starting this week, I don't know why, but just uh, feeling generally kind of a little bit unmotivated and kind of tired. So this week I went into Active Lifestyle feeling really exhausted. Felt like I was in a bit of a slump. Oh, I'm so tired today. Can it's I do difficult. the slightly smaller one? Yeah. <laughs> See if you can play and you get to do things easier. There's a life tip, guys. My favorite accessory workout would have to be the chachas. They, uh, they, you just feel fabulous. If you don't look fabulous whilst working out, you're doing it wrong. So you want to you take one arm and the opposite leg. Yeah. Cha! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cha! Just put the foot on the ground bar. Cha cha! There we go. For a start. So I'm finally getting that improvement in the bench presses. I have improved in my weight quite a lot and with the new techniques I can actually see the difference in how I'm able to push that bar up. So hopefully I can get pretty close to rowing on the chest soon. So as always, uh, the pull-ups are always a big challenge for me and it's partially because of my weight, weighing 100 kg, but I think today I still only managed to do three. So my challenge is still to try and by the end of this get to 10 pull-ups. Stay there! Stay there! Alright, one more. Back up. <laughs> so I don't really know what happened, but I feel like I've, I've done the best this week, which is which is strange. Like both Adam and Ryan really seem to struggle a little bit this week. Buddies for life, helping friends. <laughs> Go on, what did Ryan have on his t-shirt? He had a Viva Viva. Oh, and oh. look what he has now. My dick. It's a dick with like wings. Huh. I think we should really consider adding this to the really logo. So yeah. the balls. A dick with wings. A dick with wings. I was pretty bloody worried going into jujitsu. I know that Ben has been doing it for about five years and we've never done jujitsu. So the first thing I that became very apparent. It's just how intimate doing jujitsu is. We're basically like mounting each other, like your balls touching. Like it was very intimate. Here we go, in five minutes starts now, yeah, Ron. So first of all, you slap, you fist bump. Yeah. So I was being kind of cocky, but secretly I was like, I didn't think I was gonna have a shit show because I could, I know how good Ben is at jujitsu. Ron. Did ridiculously well. I, I'm glad he went first to tie Ben out a little bit. Um, Ron weighs a bit more than Ben, so I knew he was going to be a bit of competition in that regard. But it was actually, it actually freaked me out seeing what Ben could do with somebody who weighs 20 plus kgs here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Straight into this, because he's real, I think you realise that I've got some, something that you need to put it to stage two straight away. So I, I kind of felt an instant when I, when I could see that he was going to get me into a position that I couldn't get out of, I would instinctually try and get out of that position. So when Rowan started wrestling with Ben, I thought, oh, there's a little bit of hope for us. It actually looked like Rowan had the upper hand on Ben a few times, so I was like, okay, this, this gives me a little bit of confidence. At only five or six taps, I consider that to be really good for someone who's never done jiu-jitsu before. <laughs> No, 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 no. He knew it was coming. <laughs> okay, two minutes left, bro. I was genuinely surprised at how natural it came to me. And in all honesty, I think it, it's some sort of primal thing from when I used to wrestle with my brother when I was younger. It was this, this primal, basic instinct to wrestle. I can feel kind of the instincts of. And then nothing about you just but I know when I'm getting into a you're going to hit over I'm just got to get out of there. It's a primal thing, like every animal does jujitsu. Yeah. that way. Like if you watch two dogs fight, two dogs fighting, they're kind of doing jujitsu. I did a pretty horrible. Go. Yeah. That quick, Alan. 10 seconds. Oh. None of the things he taught me came into practice at all. The thing is you're not thinking about anything. 
he gave us like 10 to 15 minutes of training beforehand and you know, I was like, all right, let's fight. When he's got armor around, I'm like, what a, what a Ben say? How should I get a, no. No, it's not gonna, it's a, no, nothing helped. Ben, nothing helped. <laughs> How much time? Uh, a minute and a half left. <laughs> That's eight. And there were a couple of little moments where I felt like I had him, and but then I didn't know how to follow it through, so I just was like, just flailing at him. Can I strangle you? Is that a thing? It was bizarre to watch how, how Ben could just, just use me like a little bitch, like wrap himself around me and flip me around and treat me like a piece of dough. Holy shit. That's the next level. Anything I tried to do was immediately counted. So anytime I tried to push him away, my he just grabbed him out and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got tapped so many more times than Rowan, which made me really worried about how I was going to do. That's effective. That's very effective. That's very effective. I can't get him. You can't get him. That's not bad, Adam. That was, that was a good strategy. Okay, go. I wanted to think that I was going to get less taps than Alan, so I went into it pretty <laughs> confident. Um, it was quite funny watching Adam just every second uh, wrestle, basically <laughs> nearly choking out. <laughs> Adam did just as well as me. He, I think he fought him off for a little bit more at the start and I was like, oh, Adam's going to get fewer, fewer submissions. But uh, he, he quickly fell apart. He quickly fell oh. apart towards the end. <sighs> I was pretty ashamed that I had just as many taps as Alan. I, I just got absolutely dominated. I was like, what's the defense here? <laughs> <laughs> Almost every second move that Ben was doing on me, I was just getting choked to death. Was I just yep. going into positions? That just meant you could easily choke me out. Would you let me do the arm drag? Yeah. Which is pushing your arm across the centre line, uh, and they gave me your back. And I did doing this. Yeah. And then, and then you just put me down. Uh, yeah. yeah. That happened like four times. That yeah. exact move. It made me think that the power that Ben has in his hands and his body, he could kill any one of the three of us like that. Adam's strategy is to say, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 please, no! So I was absolutely demolished by the end of the day. The next day, I had bruises on me, I had a sore throat, I had a sore neck, I had a clicky jaw because of all of those painful submissions that he'd had me in. I am going to fight Ben again, but it will be on an even playing field with knives and guns. Um, my summation of that was a mad respect for Ben, in all honesty, like, um, he, he, he's only white belt, he's, he's, he'd be the first to say it, but he, he knows what he's doing, because he's been doing it for a long time, and just that jiu-jitsu is kick-ass, and that's a great workout, and uh, I got a bit of a rush from it. I just need to ask a quick question. Sure. What are the rules, what are the rules on three on one? <laughs> Let's go! Here we go! <laughs>